King, K-I-N-G. I'm the lead vocalist, well, the only vocalist. Um, my stage name is Jenny, you know, with the, with the I, not a Y, because the Y is so played out. So King or K-I-N-G is an acronym for Keep Inspiring Your Genius. So basically my partner Indy and I, we just want to inspire all different types of talents in our country because Shana is not really known that much for things other than soca, which is cool because that's our culture, but you know, there are singers, rappers, poets, people with spoken word. So we just want to inspire them to harness their talents. Well, I've been singing since I was seven. Not singing well, though. I only started to like really sing and write when I was in Sonnet 4, actually. When I wrote my first little love song. It's really big, actually. But you know, so 12 years, I would say. 12 years, yeah. So I grew up in the 90s. I'm a 90s baby. So one of my first inspirations was of course Michael Jackson um, and then Alicia Keys was a very, very big part of my life. Um, but the boy bands, you know, like Bakshi Boys, I, I always like that kind of pop bubblegum kind of music, so yeah. Well, legally, <laughs> I am a first degree black belt in karate and I also teach karate back in the school. Um, I used to dance with Elle, so big up to Elle. So that's actually about it. Oh, no, I'm a Twitter champion. If you can count that, I am Twitter Banton. So yeah, that's what I do legally. <laughs> yes, actually, we have a mixtape that's supposed to be coming out any time soon. Um, it's called The Tree. Yeah, um, that's about it for now. My favorite song is a song called Jenny's Song. It's one of my favorites because Indy named it. And it's actually the first song that I wrote and I came to Indy with. I wrote it one day, I was just really sad. It's a sad song, but it has a message. And I was like, Indy, I want you to rap on it. And I sang it for him. And he just got and went ham on that. Like he was, and as he saw that I um, actually solidified the fact that we're going to be partners in this music thing for as long as we can. So that's it. Locally, I'm a fan of a lot of people, um, but mainly Bungie Garlin. <laughs> the man is ridiculous, so it's like I just love him. Fan, um, Kess. You see Kess? Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about Kess. Um, Irfan Alves, he is an amazing, amazing writer, and to me, it will give him enough props for that. Who else is an amazing writer? It's Ola Tunji, and he's an amazing performer as well. Like his hype is insane. It is crazy. Um, and well, rapper wise, there is Nebula Eight Six Eight. If to me, if it weren't for them, like pushing, pushing for the rap, then we wouldn't know as many rappers as we do now down here. Like we would have known them a little bit, but not as much. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. So yeah, that's. It. So let's see, there is, of course, the Queen, Beyonce, um, Elvana, Demi Lovato, Usher, Lincoln Park, um, a lot of like, I can't really say all because I'm a fan of a lot of bands like Fun and Fall Out Boy and Paramore, like it's just a lot. Sometimes we will be, like sometimes. Um, just a lot of there are a lot too many great artists out there for me to pick up a, a list so that's what I'm so locally I would love I think it would make my life if I got to work with Kess I don't think I'd be any happier and Nebula as well like if I could work with either Nebula State or Kess I think my life would just be whole and I could die on roses peacefully um, and internationally. I would just love to work with Pitbull. 
everything he touches is just amazing to me. And I just want to say Dale in a video. So that's it. Um, yes, I do write my own lyrics unless Inzi says it's a cover, in which in that case I have to sing what the person sang before. I've been writing my own music since I was 12. So I usually look for inspiration for my own life because um, I mean I'm young but I've seen and been through a lot and it takes me depending on how I don't know inspired I am any moment it might take me an hour or two to write the song or if it's just something like a little project it wants me to do or whatever I procrastinate and wait like days to actually sit down and write the song <laughs> but no, if it's something I'm really like I got a gist for, I'll write that song right there for you, like on the spot. Um instrumentals don't usually okay, like thirty five percent of the time the instrumental will encourage how I write to it. So if it's a little slow thing and I'm not feeling to think outside the box, I write a little slow song. But there are different ways to put your messages. So you don't have to have an upbeat song for it to be happy. You have to like think differently. So I could hear a happy beat and write something that completely sad. But you'll sing it anyway. No play with the mind. So my ideal dish is a plate like this big or bigger than this. My head is pretty big. So like 10 times the size of my head filled with just lasagna and bacon but not the bacon and the lasagna you can have some of that too but i just want the lasagna here and the bacon here and i'll just dive in oh my um and a guy um i like presents a few more Lips don't particularly matter unless your sense of humor sucks, then you need to have something to back it up. Um, I like for ambition. That's a very big thing for me. Like, you just can't be a loafer. Like, much enough for me. Like, a damn. Sorry, can I say damn? Like, a leech. Like, that. that's not cute. It is not at all. Um, you don't really have to be tall. I mean, I'm a tall girl, but I don't really like care for heels anyway, so you wouldn't have to worry. I look for just somebody who's not ashamed to like tell people they're with me. Like, you know? Because some guys would like to be like, yeah, that's my girlfriend. I hate that. So just be proud of everything you have. Um, I think I'm one of the few girls that likes arrogance. Like, I like an Aragon guy because, you know, I ain't got time for insecure guys. So, that's it. It'll be nice if you have siblings because I like guys who are good with children. Well, I'm the vocalist, so no, I listen to a lot of things. And EDM is growing on me a lot. Like, Skrillex and David Guetta and, you know or electronic music. Um, I like R&B a lot and pop. Uh, I guess I listen to country every now and then. I love jazz. Like, I love jazz from Sinatra. I just love. Um, so no, I listen to a lot of other things besides rap. Well, there are two places I can see myself in five years. When I'll see when this music thing picks up and we get discovered or whatever, I see myself winning a Grammy and crap and laughing at everybody saying, Ha! I got a Grammy and you're still in that scrunting. Ha! Um, <laughs> and if it doesn't work out the way we want it to, I will be in um, the States or England doing my degree for child psychology, opening my own kindergarten. I want to shout out my mommy for making me. I want to shout out my daddy for impregnating her. I want to shout out Enzi. I supposed to radio, you know, Mavon, Adam, Young Rudd. 
I'm gonna shout out Spitfire, Ben Chiang, Big One. Um, I'd like to shout. Why is Kristen laughing? I'd like to shout Kristen for even doing this. I would love to shout out all my friends, all my homegirls. You know them girls I be pumping with. I want to shout out Romario. Okay. What does music mean to me? Music means everything to me. Uh, music was there at times where I didn't think anybody else was there for me. Um, music was there when I was crying on my bed at night because some idiot broke my heart. Music was there for me when I needed something, a way to release my emotions and my feelings and my anger. Music was my therapist before I even knew it actually. Um, music just means a lot to me. It's more than the money and the fame. It's actually more about helping other people know that they are not alone in a situation. Because you don't know if what you're going through is what another little girl is going through, and she needs your help with that too. So music means a lot to me.